do the victory uh, sound for you. All right. Have some regulars in here. How you doing, Anthony? All right. How's college going? Let me know. Okay. Mary, I'm doing well. Happy Sunday. I've been working. Uh, I know Mary. Mary, do all you can. Um, uh, obviously, working is more important than uh, participating in the live because you got to pay your bills. And I don't want you calling me saying you need your light bill paid, Mary, Mary. OK, perfect. Um, OK, fine as well. Anthony, university is tough. You are 100 percent right about the workload. See, when I told you and your classmates how difficult college is, you all thought I was nuts. I didn't know what I was talking about. OK, um, so uh, if any of you are familiar with this topic already, drop your comments in the comment section. Uh, as you know, I try to share information with you that's not common. Uh, most people uh, have no idea. So if you look at the um, the title, the triple six eight central postal directory uh, battalion, uh, very, very interesting. And if you want to know more, I left link. How you doing, Rhonda? Uh, good, good. Glad that you're here. I left. I dropped some links below in the description box. You, guys, you would not believe the history, the rich history. Okay, of um, these uh, ladies. How you doing, Donna? Donna's here. All right. So, Donna, we're just getting started. Um, I decided to talk about the um, 6888 Central Postal Directory uh, Battalion. If any of you are familiar with this battalion, uh, drop it in the comment section. Uh, so far, everyone I've talked to, no one has ever heard of them. Uh, coincidentally, I will be asking the ROTC teachers at uh, my school if they are familiar with this particular battalion. All right, so let me give you a little bit of the history uh, and of course, post your comments in the comment section. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. But please, please check out the links that I shared with you below the video. they are videos of, of the women. Obviously, they were older uh, before they passed on and just a lot of uh, excellent information there. So um, thank you, fine. So anyway, this was obviously an all black battalion because this was during uh, World War II. Uh, and we know that the armed forces were all segregated until uh, Harry S. Truman uh, decided to desegregate the uh, armed forces. OK, so uh, all black um, it was a total of about eight hundred and fifty five of these young women and um they were, of course, again, segregated. Some of them were cooks and some were mechanics, but primarily they were all for this uh, postal directory because there were years and years of built up mail that had never been delivered. How you doing, Tina? So, you know, they needed someone. Uh, their motto was no mail is equal to low morale for the troops. So how many of you know who Mary McLeod Bethune is? Okay. If you know who she is, 
drop your comments in the comment section. I'll, I'll go ahead and get started with her. She well-known educator, uh, but you may know her for another reason. Okay. Anyone know what she did? Mary McLeod Bethune. Does that name sound familiar to anyone? Okay. I'll give you a hint. Donna said new to me. Okay. Those of you who are familiar with HBCUs. Okay. You should be familiar with her. Anyone ever heard? Uh, uh, very good, Tina and Big Daddy at it. Okay, uh, Bethune Cookman College in Florida. Okay, is named after her. Okay, so she was working with. How you doing, Reese Cop? All right. She was working with uh, Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife, of course, of FDR. Okay, um, and they both wanted a role for Black women in the war overseas. So, of course, with a little bit of jostling, uh, uh, pretty much Eleanor Roosevelt, if you remember from the Tuskegee Airmen, she was instrumental in getting them into the war. Because remember, they all trained, but they were just sitting there doing nothing. And then she went up, if you saw the movie uh, with Lawrence Fishburne, uh, she actually, you know, took a flight with one of them. Then she, when she got back down on land, she said, why aren't these fellows over in Europe? helping with the war effort. So that uh, led to the um, Tuskegee Airmen uh, going to Europe and helping to fight. Okay, so um, this battalion um, finished what was supposed to be, it was supposed to be a six month job. Remember, this was years and years of built up mail. They devised their own, how you doing more dollars? They devised their own system, all right? And they had the mail out in three months. Um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Charity Adams. She uh, was a major, major Charity Adams, okay? Um, she actually, uh, there was a white general that before they, you know, got everything lined up. A white general told her, I'm going to send an a white officer over there to show them how to do it right. She said, over my dead body, because they had their own system developed. It was successful. There was no need for anyone else to be sent. Um so Major Adams was the first African-American woman to be an officer in WAX, the Women, uh, Women Army Corps is what it was, okay? She was born in Cottrell, North Carolina. I don't know if anyone knows where that is. The only reason I know where it is is because my very first teaching job out of graduate school was in Franklin County. And so an adjoining county is Vance County. So I would drive through Cottrell, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's on Highway 1. I would drive through Cottrell, very small town, maybe one light. I don't know if that many. Um, so I uh, thought I'd share that with you. One of the links I shared, uh, Charity Adams, uh, I'll say Lieutenant Colonel, that was her final rank about the time that she retired. OK, um, so I wanted to share that with you. So they were sent to England um, and then uh, France. All right. So, of course, these uh, women talked about, you know, their treatment. We all know, I don't think we've talked about it in some other videos, uh, some of the treatment that they had to endure. And they said the same thing that the African-American men said. They were treated a lot better in Europe, you know, when they were in France and other countries, England. They were treated, you, you know, well. And they were like, wow, how you doing, Sonia? I'm fine. How are you? They were treated well and they started comparing their treatment here in America. And remember, folks, when did the civil rights mo uh, movement really get started in the 50s? So from every, a lot of history uh, that I've read, you know, once African-Americans came back uh, from the war and they saw they were how they were treated in other countries, they just weren't willing to, you know, take the bad treatment anymore. And they were like, no. Uh, we fought for this country. We're over there fighting, you know, for uh, these uh, democratic principles. And then we come here and we're second class citizens. So keep that in mind. Um, and of course, while they were, were there, um, <clears throat> once they were done, they received the uh, European African Middle Eastern Campaign Medal. OK, uh, also a good conduct medal, a World War II Victory Medal as well. So. They, they received a few accolades, not all that they should have received. If you remember, like the Tuskegee Airmen and so many others, they usually uh, don't receive uh, recognition until they've passed on. So posthumously, so their relatives usually wind up accepting whatever the award is. Um, Donna said that's 
Well, right, Donna. Yeah. So it's, it's sad, but you know that's just that that's just how it is. Okay. Um, but I will tell you, uh, February two thousand nine. Um, uh, the women were honored at the uh, Women in Military Service at Arlington uh, National Cemetery. Okay, so that that's a little something that they received. In 2009, you know, a lot of them have passed on by then. But uh, 2016, they were inducted into the Army Women's uh, Foundation. Okay, uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, November 2018, the Fort Leavenworth dedicated a uh, monument to the battalion. So that's good, right? All right. And uh, February 2021, 20, 20, 20, 20, it's not over with yet. Jerry Moran, a Republican, introduced bipartisan legislation to award the Congressional Medal of Honor to the entire battalion. So it's passed through the Senate. It has not yet passed through the house. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Um, those of you who are just joining, once this video um, is complete, please check the links below. There are videos. Uh, there's a website with a lot of information. Now that most of you are here, is there anyone here who was familiar with this particular battalion? Have you ever heard of this particular battalion? If you have yes or no, please type in the uh, comment section. OK. And I just think it's astounding when you look at, you know, what, you know, these people had to endure. Look at all they were able to accomplish because uh, Lieutenant Colonel Riska, uh, uh, possibly, possibly. OK. Some of you may have. OK. Uh, Mary, no. OK. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Adams, she was a teacher. Uh, prior to joining the service. Donna, oh, Donna, yes, it's good info. Donna, I know what I forgot to tell you. Donna, the information that you gave me about Bear Richards, I did not know that. So guys, you may learn new information here, but that's why I'm always asking you guys to leave me comments. Donna, that information that you left, I actually looked that up. I had no idea, and I love uh, Bear Richards. My people in my generation may know. I don't know if Mary, I don't know if you would know who she is, but she was a black actress and I loved all her work. I did not know she wrote poems until uh, Donna Joyner told me. Wow. So, you know, don't be afraid. That's why I'm always begging you to leave comments in the comment section so that. Uh, again, if it's something I don't know, I, I, I love learning new information. Tina, were you aware of that Bear Richards uh, was a poet? She wrote poems. Yeah, Donna, yes. I just loved her movies. And from time to time, you see her in some of the sitcoms. I didn't know she wrote poems until Donna told me. Wow. So anyway, you may learn information here. But guess what, guys? I'm learning information from you as well. So. Please don't uh, um, don't uh, forget to leave comments. OK, Tina. OK, Tina didn't know. And Tina. OK, so, yeah, I looked it up. Right. I looked it up, Donna, and I read some of her poems and I'm like, wow, why am I just now learning about this? OK, so some of the information, again, you know, my uh, critical race theory videos. Uh, we know most of this isn't taught in school, so we have to get out here and educate ourselves. Uh, Reese Cup said who? Yeah, Bea, B-E-A-H, and her last name was Richards. She's a black actress. I think she passed in like ooh, 2009 or 10, but she's played Google uh, Donna. Type her uh, Bea Richards name in the uh, comment section, please, so that for the people that want to research her, uh, her were her bodies of work. She played on a lot of movies. She was on sitcoms. Uh, I love her. OK, so look her up. Look at some of her poems. OK, so we're all learning together. That's a good thing. OK, folks, if you like this content, please hit the like button. OK, um, I, I the poll that I sent out last week, uh, most of you guys said that you still want me to continue to talk about uh, black history so far. Thank you, Donna. Uh, so far as, um, you know, Things that we've never heard of. 
All right. So this was very interesting to me. Donna, I, I still have that website pulled up. I still want to read the rest of her poems. So, you know, very, very informative. OK. Um, Reese, yeah, Reese Cup, I know you'll drop me a comment. Once you read some of her poems, look at some of her movies and the sitcoms that she uh, was on. Let me know what you think. I love Bear. You don't hear a lot about her. She's one of the unsung uh, actresses, but I love her work. Thank you, Fine is Wine. Um, so if you have any more questions, type them in the comment section. Uh, as I wait for your questions, I'll share this information with you. Uh, Henry, Audrey Henry, you see her sometimes. She participates in the uh, live chats. She's a co-worker, but she also sells life insurance. So uh, if you're interested, um, she works for the Anderson William Insurance Group. What I'll do is I'll put her... Uh, email information down in the description box. And uh, if you need life insurance, that's the person to go to. She's a, a nice quality character individual. Okay. So um, I'll leave her uh, email address if you want to contact her. Okay. Any other questions about today's topic? Donna, yes. Donna, um, I didn't yet realize she wrote it and she, you know, of course she supported civil rights. Uh, since we're talking about civil rights, I was talking about civil rights. Uh, these women, when you see the, the information I shared with you, you know, with Major uh, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Adams, she, okay, also pushed for civil rights. All right. So just excellent information. Excellent. Okay. And one of you sent me a con, uh, comment from last week when I was talking about the Ocoee massacre. And as you can see, you know, in that video, just reading it, it's just heart wrenching. I was so upset. I forgot to tell you to Google. One of my uh, subbies sent me a comment. I forgot to tell I did not mention how he was killed. It was just too traumatic for me. But if you Google July Perry, uh, you, you'll see it. All right. But, I, you, you know, I didn't I was supposed to end the uh, video with that. But I, I just couldn't. OK, it was already sad. And I just I didn't. Uh, yeah, she was in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner with Sidney Poitier. Oh, my God. Spencer Tracy, Catherine Hepburn. Now, <clears throat> I'm dating myself, folks. I love the older movies. OK, so that's from 68 or 9 or something like that. Um, she's been on Sanford and Son. She's been on several other it, uh, uh, sitcoms. She's been in several movies. Yeah, you don't hear her name a lot, but I, Bea Richards, look her up. All right, you know what time it is. All right, it's time for our drawing. All right. If you're still here, drop your name so I can add your name to the drawing. All right. Who's still here? All right. Mo Dollars is still here. Who else is still here? Donna's here. Now remember, oh, Reese is here. Remember, I know some of you don't ever type, you just listen. If you don't type anything, I cannot see your name. Okay, that's that's the thing. That's why I'm always telling you. If you you know, if you're here to type something, or I, you know, you're here and I can't see you. Okay. Okay, I have Reese Cup. I have Fine is here, okay. Uh, Tina's here. I gotta get Rhonda. Oh yeah, Rhonda. I, you guys, if this was interesting, you need to click on the links. Okay, I need Mary. I got Rhonda. Jermaine is here. Rosalind is still here. Okay. I got you guys. I got you coming. I got it. All right. Jermaine, Roz. Is that everybody? Sonia, are you here? Okay, Jermaine. All right. I think I have everyone. If you said here, your name is in the drawing. 
All right. I'll draw your names out. I'm mixing it all up. Mary, Mary, you are a winner. Daniel, I got to add your name to the pot. Reese, Reese Cup, you are a winner. All right, Dan, you have one shot to win. Mary won. Those of you, I think everyone here, I think I have your um, Cash App info or Venmo info. Jermaine, you are a winner. Those are our winners today, Jermaine, Mary, and... Reese, all right. Mary, if your uh, your cash app information is still the same, we're good, all right. So I'll put that in your, you know how we do? You leave a comment in the comment section, letting me know how you like this content. Oh yeah, Don, I still gotta uh, get you for that, uh, the information on Bear Richards. Don't worry, I, I got you too. Um, so, Remember, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you want me to talk about next week. And again, um, if I choose your topic, well, and you didn't win today, you're still going to see a little money in your cash app. Okay, yeah, Donna, like I said, I got you. Okay. Um, any other questions, concerns? I hope you enjoyed this information. Guys, Click on the links below the video. You will be astounded. OMG. Okay. So I got, I think three or four, there are three or four links. I think I forgot to do my kachings too for the winners. There we go. Three times. And Donna, one for you. All right. Um, thank you, Donna, Mary. So, uh, Mo Dollars. Okay. Um, Again, leave me comments in the comment section. Let me know what you want me to talk about next week, okay? And I hope you enjoyed this, okay? All right, so those of you who won today, uh, don't forget, uh, leave a comment. As soon as I see your comment, your money goes into your cash app. And thank you again uh, for joining the CyberSense Report, all right? Um, and enjoy your week, and I'll see you next Sunday, 4 o'clock.